Remember this, one, three, five to build a chord. From the D root here, the nearest note on the third string is the fifth, which is an A. The nearest note on the first string is the three, which is an F sharp. This is one of the three major triads in the top three strings. To find the next triad, let's find the next note in the third string, which is the root here. Going back to the first triad shape, the next triad note up on the first string is the five. And similarly, from the root on the second string, the next triad note up is the third. Now we have the one, three, five for the major triad. Here's the first major triad shape. Here's the second major triad shape. And we can confirm that these notes are correct by playing the notes in the scale. We have the one, three, five, which forms a major triad. Now building from the root and the third string, we have the next triad note, the third. From there we get the fifth, and the final root on that high E string, the D. So there we have three major triad shapes in the top three strings. These are completely movable and can play any major chord. Here's a simple chord progression using these three triad shapes. Here's a D, followed by an A, down to a G, and we're back to a D again. The chord sounded is defined by the position of the root note. Here's an A again, followed by a G, and then back down to a D. Again, we're going from D down to an A and to a G, which isn't actually a triad, it's just an open G. So there are three major triads defined by the root position, constructed one, three, five, and movable to play any major chord.